welcome back to the Tempo Storm Hearthstone Meta Snapshot Breakdown for July 27th, 2017. The meta is finally starting to settle after the Quest Rogue nerf, with players moving past the post-patch experimental phase into grinding with the most optimal decks. Let's take a look at what some of these decks are and how they have been performing in the last few days of the season. Tier 1 Tier 2 Tier 3 Tier 4 Tier 5 Mage continues to dominate the ladder, representing about 20% of the Legend matchups. With Quest Rogue out of the meta for the past two weeks, pro players have gravitated towards a hybrid of Freeze Mage and Gunther's Control Mage to combat a wide range of matchups. The additions of Medivh and Mana Worm to the Freeze Mage archetype has rendered Gunther Mage obsolete, with the new hybrid performing better on the ladder. With more players relying on the Control Mage hybrid to climb the ladder, Jade Druid has become a Tier 1 deck. Though it sits at the bottom of the list, Jade Druid's position as an anti-control deck has become even more relevant in recent weeks with enough healing to outlast Control Mage, a wide range of early game to contest aggro, and a late game engine of golems that can overwhelm even the greediest of control decks. While Miracle Rogue remains one of the best counters to Jade Druid, it suffered from the popularity of Control Mage and Pirate Warrior. It has taken a back seat this week as a mid-tier 2 deck, along with Aggro Murloc Paladin, leaving Control Mage, Pirate Warrior, Token Shaman, Aggro Druid, and Jade Druid as the top decks to climb with on the ladder. The newest deck to join the meta snapshot is Ramp Druid, or Big Druid, as players have come to call it. We have ranked Ramp Druid as a tier 2 deck to begin with. It has the ability to counter control archetypes as well as Jade Druid in exchange for a weaker early game. Pirate Warrior and Token Shaman will punish players switching to this deck unless Ramp Druid is able to ramp to Primordial Drake, but it has a positive win rate against Control Mage as well as Jade Druid, making this deck a viable option for ladder climbing. Secret Mage has begun to use Arcane Giants to much success in the ladder. Players such as Surrender and Vorder have placed well with the deck over the course of the last week. Though Secret Mage's dependence on maintaining a board state makes the deck less powerful than its Control Mage hybrid counterpart, the addition of Arcane Giants provided a viable mid to late game strategy that doesn't rely on a perfect curve or top decking burn to close out the game. We have five decks at tier one representing five different classes, three of which are aggro decks. With just a few days left in the season, we can expect the majority of your matches to be against players looking to grind ranks efficiently, whether by using the most successful control deck on the ladder or the most efficient aggro decks. Dragon Priest is a viable anti-mage deck that performs well versus board-centric aggro decks. It's moved up to tier two this week after its success at Dreamhack Atlanta, piloted by players such as Just Saiyan and Chalky. Though it struggles against Pirate Warrior, Dragon Priest has enough power with minions such as Draconid Operative and Dragonfire Potion to hold its own against Jade Druid while countering most other tier 1 decks. Dragon Priest has the potential to become a meta-relevant powerhouse in the right hands with the right tech, such as Galaka Crawler and Greater Healing Potion. This is the time of the season where players are feeling the pressure to climb as high as they can, and so may be tempted to switch decks frequently every one or two matches. Take the time to learn the deck strategy and matchups by watching streamers and gaining first-hand experience to earn the max maximum win rate you can achieve. Learning from mistakes and practicing meta awareness will provide you the tools you need to succeed in the meta and metas to come. If you enjoyed this meta snapshot breakdown, leave us a like or favorite below. And be sure to subscribe to stay tuned with all of Tempo Storm's news and Hearthstone content.